If you're asked to balance this equation, MgI2 plus MnSO3 2, that's magnesium iodide and manganese 4 sulfite, here's how you do it. First, you need to count the atoms up. We use a little bit of a trick here. We have one magnesium and two iodine atoms, and then one manganese. And the sulfite, this SO3, it's a polyatomic ion. We have it on both sides. So with these double displacement reactions, it's often useful just to count this as one thing if you have it on both sides. So here we have one sulfite ion times two. So we're just going to say we have two sulfite ions in the reactants. Over here in the products, we have one magnesium, four iodine, and one manganese, and then just one sulfite ion. So that makes it a little easier to balance here. You get the same answer either way. Why don't we first start off by doubling the MgI2? That way we'll have 2 times 2 for the iodine. That'll give us 4. Those will be balanced. And then 1 for the magnesium. That gives us 2 of those. We could just put a 2 in front of the MgSO3, the magnesium sulfite. 1 times 2. That would balance the magnesium atoms. And then 2 times the 1 sulfite here. That would give us 2 of those. And we'd be done. This equation is balanced. The type of reaction here is double displacement. The magnesium and the manganese, they're switching places. So this is a double displacement reaction. It's Dr. B balancing the equation MGI2 plus MnSO3 2. Thanks for watching.